these messages will be right back. With a bot voice, hear what we say. You wanna be a bot? Do it this way. I'm a ninja bot with ninja might. Ninja fight! I'm the combat bot, look at what I got. I'm a sports bot, wanna play? Do it my way. They talk, fight, and play their way. The bot. The bot boys, no one's really hot. Wanna have fun, gotta be a bot! The fighting talking bots, each sold separately. Batteries not included. Enjoy this. There's only one. Fast Tracks. Fast Tracks. The fastest radio controlled track vehicle in the world. Climb tougher. Break out faster. With rechargeable 9.6V turbo power. Nothing else even comes close. Fast Tracks 360s. Fast Tracks goes where you've never gone before. 9.6V turbo Fast Tracks. And Fast Tracks pickup only from Tyco. Battery pack required. Sold separately. So there I was with Bunny, mixing up some quick. Don't forget to clean the basement. When magically we were in the dungeon of the evil witch Creepella, who was stealing all the world's chocolate. We have to stop her. I'll distract her with some quick, and I'll tie her up. Chocolatey quick? <laughs> Looks like she's tongue-tied, too. Who are you talking to? Um, nobody. Nestle quick, it's magic in the making. Fantastic flowers made by me. What are you doing? Making a beautiful bouquet of flowers. How? With my Fantastic Flowers flower making set. Wow, so many colors. They smell pretty. Fantastic flowers made by me. Look what we made, Mom. Fantastic. Fantastic flowers made by me. Fantastic flowers flower making set comes with everything here. Refill sold separately. They came in search of Count Chocula cereal. The double chocolatey part of a complete breakfast. It's dark up here. Look, eyes. Moving eyes? Spooky eyes. Scary eyes. Bats eyes. Bats? I love bats. That's why my new batty boxes have eyes that go batty. <laughs> they move. Count Chocula, now you can look for boxes with eyes that go batty. They'll be looking for you. This is Kawabungie. And this is Kawabongo. But the turtles for your 16-bit system are Kawabunga! Holy cow, it's turtles in time! The cool arcade game for Super NES. Now with tasty turtle duels. And psych up your Sega Genesis with the Hyperstone Heist. An all-new 3D turtle brand. So remember, this is Kawabingo. But the turtles for Super NES and Sega Genesis are... Kawabunga, dude. There's a bunch of berry flavor in every bite of Berry Berry Kicks. Part of this complete breakfast. I like the berry berry flavor in my berry berry kicks. A berry berry... How many berries? Bunch. <laughs> There's excitement going round. There's a party going down. Whoa! Twister! The hot spot! All the color where it lands. Put those feet in hand. Twister! The hot spot! Yeah, Twister! Your feet and hands go down, but you gotta stay up. It's wicked hot. Right hand red, left foot blue. Bodies moving to the Twister crew. Twister, the hot spot. Twister from Milton Bradley. It's the hottest game around. Twister, the hot spot. Hello, everybody. Happy Sunday. Hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving last week. For those of you who are in the States, I am Unreal Nighthawk, or David, if you prefer that. Uh, welcome everyone to the stream. Tonight we are going to be playing West of Loathing. Uh, it is a fun game from what I've seen so far. I, I loaded it up to kind of make sure it would work uh, earlier. And if you haven't heard of Kingdom of Loathing, which is the sort of franchise. You can call it a franchise, I guess, uh, that it originally came from. But it is a uh, sort of... Um, deceptively simple looking sort of game um, because Kingdom of Loathing is a game that's all about text you read a lot and um, stick stickman drawings 
Uh, it's a whole website. Like you, you go to kingdomofloathing.com, you can sign up, you choose your classes, you uh, kind of go through the process of setting up your character, and you play the game by reading and clicking on things and having battles as you go through. So this is a, uh, unlike the website, this is an actual video game. that We're, we're playing this uh, via Steam, and I'm excited to try it out. I, I played the, the original Kingdom of Loathing a lot back in the day. Uh, it's still going, as far as I know. I, I haven't logged in in a while, but I made sure the website was still there. Uh, and it's free, so you know, definitely go check out Kingdom of Loathing. Uh, and if you like it, then maybe consider checking out West of Loathing as well, which is also on sale right now on Steam. I think it's like 40% off or something like that. Hello, Lucian. Thank you for the honk. And also, hello, Bell. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's great to see you both here tonight. How is everyone doing? Uh, Bell, I, I saw your, your delicious looking ham. It, it was quite good. Uh, I I wanted to eat that. Made it. You made it. I, I assume I assume you made it. You were showing photos of it, so I guess maybe I shouldn't assume that. But um, is, is that a ham that you made yourself from scratch? Because if so, I'm impressed. It looked really delicious. You'll see in a little bit the humor of this game is I think really what makes it stand out um, it, it doesn't take itself too seriously it is just a lot of fun to play and uh, yeah little little very subtle things that you can do right now just like you know you can click on things you can you can shoot things and uh, you know it's leaving bullet holes you don't have to do that kind of cool that they are though Have I see, Lucian says, have I seen the hab, or no, I'm sorry, have I seen the ham before the rehab? Um, no. I, I guess I haven't. I'm not sure what you're referring to anymore. Oh, I'm sorry that your, your ham is all gone, Belle. Our, our ham and turkey and I think officially all of our leftovers are gone now, too. Did not take very long with the all... Or five of us uh, eating them. Bell knows how to make ham, but I won't take credit for that one. My mama made that one. Oh, you just helped eat it. Delicious. That That is the best kind of ham. The ham you don't have to make. Apparently you can shoot the clouds. I noticed this earlier. And like, they don't blow up right away. But they do eventually. And I, I think they must be accounting for the distance that you're firing or something. I'm guessing. I don't know. I don't know. You don't want to see the ham before rehab. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, Tio, how are you doing tonight? I have done the good work of sharing Firebot with more people. I've converted a half dozen people over now. You're doing good work. You're doing good work. Firebot is 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 good. I don't need to say anything more than that. Firebot is good. And you are helping people, helping good streamers have a better time streaming, thanks to Firebot. Oh, I see. Family-friendly stream, yes. We, we try. We try. It makes me really curious now what you're referring to. Maybe, maybe better uh, handled through Discord. <laughs> Wow, so you got someone off of streamer bot, which I haven't used before. I've not have not heard of that one. Uh, another two off mix it up, and two off of Streamlabs. Nice. I'm all for getting off of Streamlabs, that's for sure. Although I need to convert my uh, my Twitch chat, my the Twitch chat that appears on the screen when I'm doing um, things like right now. I think maybe maybe not. I'm not sure if the Twitch chat actually appears on the screen when when I, when you type. I think so. Um, but that's using Streamlabs right now, and I need to figure out a good way to get rid of that. Uh, when I went looking for a new, like, Twitch chat overlay, uh, or, or not overlay, but, um, yeah, Twitch chat plugin, um, widget, browser, whatever, uh, I couldn't find a good one. I didn't find one that I really liked very well. 
So I'm I'm open to suggestions for that if you have any ideas. Oh yeah, there's the text. It's really hard to see. There is chat on the screen right now. I probably need to add a background of some sort to my overlay so it's actually readable. Oh, voice recognition in StreamerBot. That's kind of interesting. TO uses customized, I assume you mean the chat chat uh, plugin for, from Stream Elements. Yeah. I might need to go give that another chance. I, I, I remember I tried it and there was something I didn't like about it. Like, maybe I just didn't like how it looked or something, but I know it is customizable, so I can give that another try. All right, well, I've about shot everything in this loading screen or a uh, idle screen that I can, so it's probably about time to get started. So, uh, I did try earlier, which I said, uh, just kind of make sure that it still works. So there is a saved game for Tiger Rogers, but um, let's start a new game. Wanted for protagonizing. So again, uh, the, the reward, so the currency in this game in Kingdom of Loathing and uh, West of Loathing is meat. Uh, there's lots of food related things going on as you'll, you'll soon discover. And the more of these that you shoot, the more reward meat you'll get, like the, not that you'll get, but that will be like put on your head, I guess. Um, but it is just for fun. Raising your reward is just for fun, as I just said. Um, so there's nothing to that. Uh, however, it is pretty cool. These up here, these characters that you can click on are how you design your characters. So like if I would like a female character, I click the little female doll there. And now I have a, uh, a Western named sort of, you know, lady character. Uh, if I want a dude, I can click him and get a Western sort of defaulted uh, tropey sort of name. And then interestingly, there's the, you know, there's the bear, there's the owl, and then this is actually the side of a, a cat for some reason. I'm not sure why it's even off screen. Um, but if you choose one, like a, a guy or a girl, and then you pick one of these three here, it will choose a name for you based around that sort of characteristic. So like Bear Thompson, Fozzy Hollister, Kodiak Wayne, yeah, or Birds, Hawk Littlefield, Brain Bassett. Yeah, and then cats, Heathcliff. Felix. So uh, that's why I ended up with the tiger one earlier, but um, I feel like this is pretty good. I, I, I don't I don't want to spend a whole lot of time just like building a character. I don't think it matters that much. It's really just for fun, as it says here. I'm just going to leave it on this one. I'm going to click these here just because I, I, I feel the need to click things, if you know what I mean. Like, if I can click them, I should click them, right? Hey, Cater Bob, how are you doing tonight? Thank you for the sage. I appreciate that. Uh, Tio says the defaults. Stream elements uh, chat is kind of meh, but there are heavily customized ways of doing it. You can buy a lot of them on their Discord. Oh, okay. Thank you. I'll I'll check that out. All right, let's jump on in. So let's let's hit play. Whoa, 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 wait, Cater, you're 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 making you're making a cat bikini. You're, you're making a cat bikini. For Orion. Okay, I mean, Orion is naked, so that that makes sense. Um, hmm. I, I look forward to seeing that. I, I, look for, I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Um, okay. That is wonderful. <laughs> uh, yes, we would like to play as Felix Cassidy. All right, so now we have to pick our class. Had the strangest dream? I was choosing a character class. It could be a cow puncher, a bean slinger, or a snake oiler. Obviously, the cow puncher is more of a uh, melee sort of character. The bean slinger is some sort of magical sort of character. And then the snake oiler, I see a gun. I'm guessing more of a rogue? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. 
not not sure at all. If you click on it, you get a little bit more information. There is, uh, you know, some flavor text here. Um, but you don't really get, like, stats. It doesn't really tell you exactly what you do as each uh, particular class. So I'm I'm not sure. Uh, there, there is a whole thing around cooking and magic in the Kingdom of Loathing. And so that uh, that's the whole thing that you'll see. Like, the, the two of the classes in the original Kingdom of Loathing were Hostomancers and... Oh, I just blanked on the other one. Hostomancers and... Oh, I feel bad. I, I just thought of it uh, before the before I loaded up the stream. Prepared to talk about it. And now I can't even remember what the other one is. I'm sure it'll come to me if no one else here knows already. Yes, give tack all the things. Thank you for that. <laughs> I cannot wait to see Orion the Cat's bikini. That is going to be hilarious. Hey, honey, welcome to the stream. I, I honestly don't know what the differences are here. So I am going to be a bean slinger just because it was the one that was already up there. A um, little bit arbitrary, but okay. So we can do Wazdi to move around here. Uh, so we are a stick character. We are navigating around this world. And for this part of the game, we are clicking on our environment. It's one of those... Um, uh, w w what's the style of game again? Where you're like clicking on things that are happening around you to interact with them. Um, this, this weird poster appeared here one night. Goodbye, bed. Time to head west to chase my real dreams. Uh, goodbye, desk. And we have the option to comb our hair. Sure, let's comb our hair. We gained XP. Wonderful. You comb your hair one last time. All right. What else can we do? We have a crow. Hey, Russell. How you doing? I'm going to miss you, buddy. Feed Russell a cricket. Well, yeah, we should do that. You grab a cricket from your cricket bag and feed it to Russell. I love that he has a cricket bag. Uh, he coos appreciatively and nuzzles your hand. Well, I could say goodbye, Russell, be good. Or I could say maybe it's time for you to leave, too. Um, so without knowing any more context about what's happening here right now, I do feel bad about leaving Russell here, like, alone in a cage. Uh, like, I don't know... Is he going to get fed? Like, how how is that going to work exactly? So I'm inclined to let the poor bird go. If, I, if I'm not taking him with me, I should at least let him go so that he is able to fend for himself. Saucerer. Yes, Tio. Thank you. That is it. A saucerer. Yes. Yes. Hostomancer and a saucerer. Exactly. Love it. Bell asks, uh, what part of the game does your stick man do? Uh, what part of the game does your stick man do a lot of exercises to get jacked? Can we make this happen? Um, I mean, I just combed my hair and it gave me an experience point. That's that's like the smallest step imaginable to get jacked, I think. Right? Probably. Hey, Red Fox, welcome to the stream and thank you. I appreciate that. Um... Yeah, I, I'm, I, I don't want to leave the bird in the cage. If I'm leaving, I don't know who's going to be there to take care of him. So we're going to let Russell go. Maybe it's time for you to leave too. You open your bedroom window, not pictured, and unlatch the door to Russell's cage. He winks at you, calls one last time, and flies away to the west. Time to hit the trail. Anything else in the cage? Can we get like a feather or something maybe? Like no. Can I pick up the lantern? That looks like no either. You read the spine of one of your books. Trouble at Butcher's Church. Rufus liked this one as much as I did. Let's read another one. That's Danger and the Mystery of the Black Citadel. Read another one. Clementine Jones and the Forgotten Gulch. Annie Drew and the Cursed Jungle. Oh, hey. This one might come in handy. You got an item. Walking Stupid. Hey, I thought you might be claiming that, honey. Uh, yeah, I can change hats. Let's see. Um, here's one that I have just right here on the table. My, my cap. 
Thank you for inviting me to change my hat. I appreciate that. Um, question of the day. It was a. It was in fact a Drupal beanie, Tio. Um, I also have a, a little Drupalicon sitting on my my bookcase. Can't see it because I have such a tight prop here. But uh, yeah, thank you, honey. I appreciate that, and I do see. Red Fox claiming the question of the day. One moment will I get that prepared. Actually, let's let's do something. You know, we, we just had Thanksgiving. I've been streaming a whole lot. Let's do something Thanksgiving related just to to keep it simple. You get some folks talking. Um, what was your favorite thing about Thanksgiving? Uh, and for those of you who are Canadian, it could just be your your previous Thanksgiving. It doesn't have to be like, you know, this last week. Say, what was your favorite thing about this? Thanksgiving that might have just happened now or a month ago. Um, for me, well, I got to see a bunch of family I hadn't seen in a while. Uh, I got to drive down to my family in um, Southern Illinois and see my parents who I hadn't seen in a few months. And then uh, I got to see my, um, my brother's wife's mom and family who I hadn't seen in probably since before COVID. Um, so that was a really like, we always go to their house for, for things. So it was a great tradition that we didn't get to do the past year or so. Um, so it was really great to be able to see them. Uh, and then we played board games. We had you know delicious food, played some board games. It was just a lot of fun. And I, I really enjoyed that quite a bit. Lucian says, four day weekend. Nice. Very nice. Peter says, stuffing. Uh, what kind of stuffing though because there's so many different types of stuffing was it stuffing with i think i asked you before with clams or uh was it like um stuffing that you actually put inside the bird was it some sort of like um i don't know there, there's many different types right no clams you right i didn't think you liked clams i think that i think that did come up on on the stream uh or on, on our uh on our uh eden rising playthrough Either night. Theo says, I figure the name uh, Drupal doesn't mean a lot to a lot of people. To those who do know, that beanie is a badge of honor or dishonor depending on your perspective. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Most of my professional life has been in doing Drupal or being in the Drupal community. Um, content management system, for those of you who don't know, kind of like WordPress, if you're familiar with that. So, yeah. Lots and lots of friends in Drupal. Um... Red Fox says that she perfected her sweet potato casserole. Nice. Um, we had some sweet potatoes at our dinner, and it was like a... Um, they're very simple. Like, it wasn't a casserole this time. We didn't have, like, the marshmallows on top and, and all the extra stuff. It was just very simple, but very, very good. Lucian is very clam forward. Um, yeah. Box stovetop dressing, but fancy. Wait, but, but fancy. How did you make it fancy? Curious. What did you do to make your stovetop dressing fancy? All right, so, so we did get a thing. We got a, a book. Let's go to our inventory. Walking Stupid. Let's read the book. This book tells the tale of a renegade sheriff who is really, really bad at walking. Locks the stupid walking with an option. Read the book from cover to cover and learn how to walk really stupidly. You accidentally drop the book and then ruin it by stepping on it 30 times while you're trying to pick it up. So yeah, so I, th we lost it from our inventory because we really don't need it anymore. All right, so now we walk really stupidly and it will change from time to time. Here's another one. Um, oh, here's another one. So this will be fun. Uh, and if it gets to be too annoying... We can disable the stupid walking, too. Or silly walking. All right, goodbye, phonograph. You pull the needle away from the cylinder and stow the handle away. Um, Did that mean we get the handle, though? I don't see it in my inventory. I would have expected it said stow it away. That, that, that would mean that we'd get to keep it. Yeah, so here we go. Character options. We can now enable or disable stupid walking. Cater says that your mom, uh, her mom adds bread, chopped onions, and mashed potatoes 
in a pan and then covered in chicken broth and butter and baked in the oven. Oh, see, that's that's way fancier than like what I think of stovetop. Stovetop, like the, the box stovetop stuff. Working on my hands. All right, let's see what we can do to get more uh, inventory or uh, experience or things like that. What a mess. Let's stack the firewood. Get another XP point. Wonderful. Nothing on a hop on hat rack. Look if there's anything we can do in the, the hearth. Um, nothing we can do with the stove. Mom's pie safe. Yep. Like nothing we can do there. Yep, that is some silly walking, all right. All right, so this is my little brother's room. Oh, Cater says it starts with stovetop and then you add the stuff. Got it. Okay. Interesting. So, little brother's room is covered with weird diagrams and charts. Bed. Got Oi. Regular. Lethal juice box just entered the stream with nine viewers. Hello, Lethal Juice Box and friends. Welcome, Raiders. I am Unreal Nighthawk, or you can just call me David. Um, tonight we are going to be playing some West of Loathing, which is a uh, kind of funny RPG stickman game. We're just getting started, so you have great timing. Uh, if you're into that sort of thing, then welcome and uh, check it out. Um, but yeah, uh, what were you all up to tonight? Oh, hey, Mallow. Welcome to the stream. It's great to see you tonight. Um, Hummel Party. Oh, very cool. That is a game that I've seen people stream before, but I have not had a chance to play myself. How was it? How, uh, was it uh, playing with other other streamers, other friends, other viewers? It right, looks like we got a puzzle cube from the, to the toy box. Um, let's see if we can do anything with that. We can fiddle with it. Get another XP. Your brother is already most of the way south, but you figure out a couple of moves. Wonderful. Looks like we get to keep that in our inventory. And then, is there anything worth reading here? There's nothing we can click. And the titles are just very, intentionally very obtuse. Very difficult. That's a little brother for you, I guess. Whoa, I just walked through that table. Johnny Rocket Fingers. Hey, Uruk Slaying Gaming. Player Gaming. Welcome to the stream. Lethal Juice Box. All uh, Yep. <laughs> all right. So now we're, we're still doing all the silly walking because we have that perk. Again, I might turn that off eventually if it gets to be too annoying. But let's talk to these people. Oh, thank you for the follow, Uruk Slayer Gaming. Your mom smiles warmly as you approach. I'm leaving now, mom. We're gonna miss you, kiddo. Oh, and before you leave, I got you a present. A present? Yep, it's that book you wanted for Crimbo. Crimbo is kind of like Christmas in Kingdom of Loathing. Um, I know it's early, but the one about picking locks, the one about desert survival, the one about bartending. No, not bartending, bartering. In this game, it could be bartending, and that would actually not be so bad either. But um, bartering, desert survival, or picking locks. I think picking locks would probably... I like to get stuff. I like... I like. I frequently pick the picking locks perks or uh, experience points or whatever whenever I play games like this, because I love to be able to unlock stuff and just get more items. So I think I'm going to pick that one. Picking locks. Oh, boy. Please be careful out there. Write us a letter when you can. All right, let's read that book. Just like stand outside. Just said goodbye. Okay, one moment, and we'll reach down, grab the book. This book, this book is a comprehensive guide to advanced lock picking techniques. Not a whole, or it's got a whole chapter on tumblers. All right, let's read it. I'm just gonna stand here and memorize the entire book. After you're done reading, you donate to a local orphanage. Soon these orphans will be able to make their escape. Go, orphans, go! Is 
second. I suspect. I just realized I'm using OBS. I don't have the overlay thingy up to see activities. Um, the things that people are doing in the chat and claiming and whatnot. And I am probably missing some things. So one, one second while I get that popped up. Welcome, Fouled Owl. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Chicken um oh I missed a hydrate from open. Hey open, sorry I missed that. And also congrats Cater for getting the first. And lethal juice box. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Right. So we are on our way out. We have someone here with a pick. Axe? No, not a pickaxe. That's totally wrong. A uh Man, my words are just not coming to me today. Let's talk to him. Your father morosely jabs the haystack. We could say that hat doesn't fit you, Dad, or time for me to leave, Dad. I'm thinking maybe if I say that hat doesn't fit you, that he'll give it to me? Maybe? Let's try. I'll grow into it. Okay, maybe not. Um, it's time for me to leave. His lip quivers a little. Listen, I, I... I want you to have this. It's your grandmother's favorite can of beans. You got an item. Can of infinite beans. Okay. Wow, thanks, Dad. Good luck out there. Be sure to say goodbye to your mother. I did. Goodbye, Dad. I gotta check this out. Oh, you know what? Because we are a... Um, I don't even remember what we called it now. The bean flicker? Bean. Arr. The class that we are. We are the bean something. Uh, I bet the can of beans will play into this somehow. You think a can of unlimited beans uh, would be really exciting, but these beans are pretty terrible. It's a pretty cool thing to carry around, though. Um, this item goes in your offhand. Okay. It gives me plus one spell damage, plus one muscle, and plus one moxie. Very cool. Oh, hey, Cater. Good job claiming first after I congratulated you for claiming first. <laughs> I guess my activity did go back to the previous stream, didn't it? And that means that the uh, the hydrate was also probably from the, the previous stream. But whatevs. It's cool. Uh, I could use a drink anyway. Uh, Fouled Owl says, I'm looking at this game on Steam. Why is Dark Souls 3 a similar game to this? I have no idea. It makes no sense whatsoever. That makes no sense at all. Here is my silly walking. Uh, let's click on this. I can dig through the haystack. And I find a needle. I found the needle in the haystack. It's not for sewing. It's for picking locks. Oh, perfect. Even better. Okay, let's talk to... I'm guessing my brother. Your brother Rufus is standing here looking nervous. He's pretty good at looking. I'm going to give him his puzzle back. He starts fidgeting with it. Hey, Rufus, time for me to head west. I still don't understand why you're leaving. You got a point, you know, why are you leaving anyway? Help people to seek my fortune or to get off this stupid farm? Um, uh, let's say to seek my fortune. I have no idea if these uh, play into things later. With the Kingdom of Loathing type games that this came from, it's entirely possible this will come up again later. Or it could just be total random throwaway stuff. Either way. Um, there's no opportunity here, kid. If I'm gonna make it if I'm gonna make something of myself, I gotta go where I can make some meat. And remember, meat in this game is currency. It is your it is how what you spend in order to uh buy things. But it's so dangerous. Sixty percent of the people who go west get killed within a year, and that statistic is from before the cows came home. I'll be okay. You were about taking care of mom and dad, and I'll worry about me. Say so. I think you'll be dead by Crimbo. I'll miss you too, Rufus. Rufus. Milo says I need to go back um, into this game and get all the endgame stuff. Yeah. I don't know if there are achievements and things like that, but uh, yeah, absolutely. It's a fun game from what I've seen. I haven't actually played it a whole lot. Really drawing picture, Busy drawing pictures in the dust. Okay. Well, let's get out of here. 
Going west? Yes. Opening credits, eh? I don't know. I kind of feel like we might get something. This is the sort of game that we, we might actually get something if we uh, sit through the credits. So that's, you know, fun for a stream to, like, sit through the credits. I'm trying to see if I can click on anything. Oh, what? What was that? Something was in the wagon. Are those supposed to be beets? Maybe turnips? Not sure. 200 miles later. Should I get off? Looks like a town. Oh, well, yep, I got off. Okay. Well, the bad news is that you fell off that car and got knocked out for a couple of hours, but now you've got no ride, no meat, and no prospects. The good news is that you're in a town rather than in a gulch somewhere. Not much of a town, though. Alrighty. Let's see if we can pick up that turnip. Oh, it's a turnip. Okay, wonderful. We get a dusty turnip. Let's see what we can do with that. We can eat it. Increases your muscle ma uh, mysti mysticality and moxie by one for the rest of the day. Okay, so this will be a buff that we can use later, but don't need to use it right now. Talk to the drunk guy. Burp. Eek. I can eat. I said I can eat. I can't. Eek. Never mind. A chunk of wood from the broken hitching post. Yeah, let's grab it. Let's pick up everything. Aha! So this is our uh, primary weapon. A broken board. Damage 3 to 4. Okay, okay. Can we do anything with this? Can we climb up there? Looks like a no. BS Horsery. Sign on the door says, Gone Drinking. Oh, I bet that guy that walked by was the, the guy. Yuck. That is horse poop. Which makes this step even more spectacular. Oh, no. Crab walking. All right, let's go to the bar. As you walk into the saloon, the crazy-eyed guy sitting to the left of the door shrieks and waves you to get your attention. Hey, where's your hat, dang nabbit? Don't lie. You can't drink here without a hat. Taint proper. Points to the take a hat, leave a hat box next to the door. Okay. Look through the box and find a magical back Stetson. Stetson. That looks like something you'd wear. Wow. A barely enchanted hat. Thanks, er, Pete. Thanks, Pete. Do a friendly, if somewhat twitchy nod. Say, feller. You heading west? You want some company? I'll be more than happy to come along. Just let me know. Well, er, no pressure. Now we're in a bar. Ooh, let's go to the spittoon. People spit into it. You know without even looking at it that it's absolutely disgusting. Uh, let's look in it. Yep, it's full of spit. Regular spit, gross tobacco spit, chewing gum, and even like a few teeth as well. It's disgusting. And the smell. Even from a distance, it smells horrible. Let's look closer. Because of course we should look closer, right? You're now on your hands and knees, peering into the filth-encrusted spittoon. I don't... I don't understand what's wrong with you. Wait, is that something shining in the bottom? Yeah, teeth. I mean, we are in an Old West saloon, right? So, uh, there's probably a bar fight. Somebody's getting them knocked out and spitting them in the spittoon. It would probably make, make a really satisfying, like, ka -ching! You know, like a bit of tobacco or whatever. Yeah, let's get it out. I mean, obviously, we gotta reach in and, and grab whatever that shiny thing is in the disgusting spittoon. You reach your hand towards the spittoon. Even before you touch it, you feel the grossness in the air, like a greasy fog enveloping the stinking brass whore. It smells like the vomit through the trough at a mesquite barbecue eating contest. You hesitate. I mean, we're 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 committed now, right? We we can't say never mind. We gotta we gotta we gotta go in. You plunge your hand into the awful soup. It makes it sound like glorp. Your sun is burning. Your, your skin is burning. And your eyes start to water. 
Let, let's do it. Let's do it. Search. Ooh, a nasty ring. Your fingers make contact with something. You pull your hand out of the devil's terrine slowly, not daring to risk splashing the contents all over yourself. You appear to have gotten some kind of ring. Probably some kind of disease as well. Congratulations. <laughs> yep. You got an item. Nasty ring. Hooray. Let's see. The nasty ring is giving me plus one muscle, mysticality, and moxie. Though getting this ring was traumatic, you have to admit it was worth it. Glad to hear that. What else can we get? Can I... Nope, can't go behind the bar. As you walk up to the bar and wait patiently for the bartender to notice you, while you're waiting, you see a sign taped to the back wall reading, Reward for Lost Mugs, 25 meat each. Yeah, I can do that. The bartender finally notices you. Howdy, cowboy. Howdy, barkeep. Name's Felix. What brings you to our little backwater? Oh, the usual. Came out west to find my fortune. Not having much luck so far, though. Any work around these parts? Unfortunately, Boring Springs has already... Oh, that's what the name of the town is. Okay. Already has more people in it than jobs. It's more of a errand town, if you catch my meaning. If you're looking for a real job, I'd recommend talking to the railroad people up by Dirtwater. Um, ask about the railroad. Ask about Dirtwater. Ask about errands. Take your leave. Well, I did see the thing about the, the, the mugs. So let's ask about errands first. Yeah, this forsaken burg has always fallen apart in one way or another. The hostler is always needing help since he hurt his leg. And that no-account sheriff, sheriff, would certainly stand to have somebody doing his job for him. Well, I've got a goblin loose in the basement. Some cow poking from the gulch didn't wipe his boots off. And got spores everywhere. Oh, man. Um, yeah, I can probably handle a goblin. Much obliged. I'll unlock the basement door for you. Oh, and uh, you'll need this. Weak fungicide. That's probably the, uh, the spores. Yeah. Okay, I'll take care of it. Can I get the mugs, though? Like, I wonder if that's a thing that I can do. Uh, uh let's go talk to these people. These two are playing poker, or at least they're trying to. They keep looking back and forth from their hands to how to play poker card that came at their deck, biting their lips and concentrating real hard. Oh, I don't have any money to play. Good luck, you two. So clearly they don't know how to play. That's that's the whole point, right? Unless they're like really good at faking it. What do you say, Pete? Who, me? Ah, oh, heck. All kinds of things. For, in for, 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 for instance, love it. Dagnab machines, I trust him no more, and Metal Horse Thief. Uh-huh. He takes a swig of his whiskey. See you later, Pete. Howdy, I'm Felix. Howdy, Felix, I'm Horace. Nice to meet you. What do you do? I'm the town hostler. Um... Milo says, the goblin could be your partner. You know how to get a follow in this game. Pete's another, I think. No, I don't. Never played it before, so I'm I'm brand new. Don't spoil anything though. I I, I think I did say in the in the um in my, my thingy in the doobly doo down below that backseating is okay and it is absolutely okay. But I also don't want to spoil anything for, for me or anyone else who might be following along. All right, town hostler. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I'm the town horse selling guy. Hostler. Uh, like a house. Gotcha. Oh, those horses are just flying out the door. So business, business is booming. No, I mean, the horses keep running away. I haven't sold one in ages. Yep. And me being here drinking instead of watching the horses is probably how they keep escaping. It's one of those vicious circle things. Well, I'm in need of a horse. Do you have any left? One, kind of a boring one, but you've got four legs and a back to sit on. Come see me at the stable and I'll be happy to show it to you. Okay. Cool. Well, he left. Can I actually take anything here, though? Like, I don't know. The woman glares at you. You should probably let just let her drink. Okay. Ooh, hats. Oh, I've already had. I already have a hat. 
What would you do with two? Good point. I should probably leave him alone. Okay. I'm gonna see one more time if I can talk to the bartender. Good to see you again, Felix. You tip your hat to the bartender. Who's the lady drinking whiskey out of a beer mug? That's Susie. She's a rancher from nearby, a real tough broad. I ain't recommend you fester her. She lost her whole family to a cow attack recently. Got some pent up frustrations about it. Okay. Alrighty. I think it's time for us to uh, explore the basement. I didn't realize I had a lantern. That's kind of cool. Pile of old newspapers. Yeah, let's take one. Boring Springs Gazette, April 20th. What can we do with you? Copy of Boring Springs from about six weeks ago. Can't do anything with it though. Weak fungicide. The liquid in this can is actually very powerful. Um, it's just that it's tailored to kill weak fungi. Funga. The liquid in this can is actually quite oh very powerful. It's just that it's tailored to kill I got it, got it, got it. Okay, got it. This item is used in combat effective against goblins. Okay. Cool. Cool. Let's see what else we can do. Uh, the goblin shouts, Free Ark! Um, well, I don't have to fight him yet. Right? Can I actually... A crate of Nurse brand whiskey. Good for what ails you. I guess I, we never establish your age. Good thing the legal drinking age here is we can reach the top of the bar. It looked like he just did a handstand off of the uh, the whiskey box there. Let's see what we can do with this. Probably a healing or something? It's too cheap for you to even consider drinking it, and given your legendarily low standards, that's really saying something. Alrighty. Well then, uh, we are probably just... Time to take on this uh, goblin, I guess. Got the jump on him. Um, we have one action point. Um, we can use a gun. We we, ac we don't actually have a gun, though. So, lava fava. Oh, a fava bean. Got it. So, target will suffer nine hot damage. Bean shield. Increase your armor by four. And it will not end my turn. Okay, well, I'm inclined to do that first, I think. Plus four armor. Um, wonderful. Um, uh, it looks like I cannot do the Lava Fava because I don't have any action points left. But, can I still do these? Yeah, I can still do these. That's odd. Wait. Okay. Looks like I still don't have enough action points. Where does it say my action points? I wonder... I suspect I, I'm missing some of the screen. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I, I might be missing some dialogue. Or not dialogue, but some, some part of the, the display there. That I'm just not seeing right. Anyway, let's go ahead and hit him with a board again. Yeah, still don't have an action point, but uh, maybe the maybe that only happens like after battle or something. Man, this guy is terrible. Maybe it's my extra defense. I don't know. My extra armor. <laughs> don't beat yourself up if you target yourself. One HP. You had one at the beginning, okay. So I guess you, you just use one, and then that's it. You don't you don't like regain them, or something. Yay, victory! You dispatch the goblin and pat yourself on the back for a job well done. You gain three XP. Yeehaw! Skill up, mysticality level two. You left spores everywhere though. You hose them down with that can of fungicide. All right. 
Do that in. Okay. Am I am I really like riding the lantern around the room? Oh man. Okay. Hey bartender. I took care of that goblin. Thank you kindly, Felix. I knew you was a stand-up feller the moment you walked in here. He grabs a bag of meat for me. The least I can do is by way of thanks. Just thought I'd say how to you. Okay. Well, looks like we're good here then. Um, been mining these mountains longer than a boondoggled sandpiper can scream the solo. Okay. Probably randomly generated from the looks of that. All right, let's let's try this real quick. Um, can I play? They look at you nervously. Look, I have some meat. Let's play. You put 20 meat on the table and sit down before they can say no. One of them shuffles the cards sloppily and deals a new round. You get a pair of tens plus a two, three, and a king. Um, I could bet crazily. Sweat gushes from their faces as they re each read the how to play poker card again. But eventually they both add 20 meat to the pot. Okay, read them and weep. You show your pair of tens plus a two, three king. The guy on the left has a full house. And the guy on the right somehow got a straight flush. <laughs> um, I can say I win or I can outfox them. But I don't remember seeing an outfoxing stat on my... Um, on my uh my character sheet but uh it's not grayed out so i think i might be able to pick it so let's let's try you explain that jacks are worth nine points each giving the guy on the left a total of 21 points and the guy on the right a total of 20 points and your 25 plus a king and the king represents king ralph the ninth whom the western colonies revolted against because of unfair taxes so they owe an extra tax of 10 meat each they nod in understanding and push more meat across the table at you you collect your winnings and stand up. They thank you for helping them learn the game. Those poor, poor people. They don't have enough meat left to bother with. Playing for spiders now. Okay. Um, let's see what else is here. Doctor is closed. Get lost. Okay. Um, you approach the weird cactus man hybrid. He smiles at you. Howdy, cactus man. How do yourself? Name's Bill. Cactus Bill. To be honest, partner, I drank too much cactus beer and it turned me into a cactus. Doc Alice warned me this would happen, but I didn't listen. Okay. Does it hurt being a cactus? Haha, ah, no, it's actually kind of nice. The natural fermentation processes inside the cactus part of me keep me pretty drunk most of the time. I guess it's a mite. I guess it is a mite boring. It wouldn't be so bad if I had something to read. You don't happen to have any newspaper. I do actually have an old newspaper. Much obliged, partner. Let's see what can I do for return the favor. Oh, I know. My shovel. I left it behind the outhouse at Orhole Mine. It's yours if you go and get it. I'm sure you'll find a use for it. All right. So we are pretty close to getting another level up. Beyond the outhouse at Orhole, Orhole Mine. Don't mention it. Now, if you could just kind of stick that newspaper to my face before you leave. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Yep, still not talking there. What about trade? Step right up. Braid's the name and trade's the game. Seriously doubt that his name is Braid. Well, third today I'm trading locks for soap and stick of dynamite for a needle. I, I do have a needle. And the to the cunning skinner who brings me three rattlesnake hides, well, to that adventurous soul, I will trade a fine silver pocket watch. I mean, I do have a needle, but it's used for lock picking, so I don't know if I really want to trade dynamite for it. Let's say no for now. Let's keep that in mind. Hmm. Can I, can I go in? Wait. Wanted. Bird theft. Naked Mike Bernstein. Wanted. Poster artist. Apply in person at Yuma Marshall's office. Bimmy Fricker. For face, Steven. Howdy, stranger. Welcome to Born Springs. I'm the sheriff. 
Arth. What? The sheriff, okay, blasted sign painters. <laughs> Say, you wouldn't happen to be looking for work, would you? As a matter of fact, I am. There's a gang of hoodlums just around here that what they call themselves the Fricker Gang. Last time I arrested one of them, they busted him out and took my cell door with him. It ain't, uh, well, that much good without the door. I need someone smart and tough and slick enough to go fetch it for me. Er, me. Why don't you do it? You're the sheriff, after all. Um, yeah. Gotta stay here and practice my chair tipping. Okay. I'll give it a shot. Why don't you should say that? Because I'm sending the deputy along with you to keep you out of trouble. He takes a pistol out of his desk and hands it to you. You got the item Deputy Pistol. Deputy? You deputized a gun? You're new in town. Maybe you ain't noticed, but there ain't much to do here except drink. Here, let me write down where the Fricker Gang's hideout is for you. You discovered a new map location. Okay. Uh, let's do it and let's equip this... Uh... Oh, there's a map. Super. Inventory. Great, we have the Deputy Pistol now. Which will deal four to five, which is a little bit better than the broken board, as I would expect. Cool. I think now. Ooh, this is especially gross because I'm crawling through it. <laughs> Go to the BS Horsery now. One thousand meat. I'm a little short for that. Um, this is the most typical horse you've ever seen. Dig through the haystack. Hey, another needle. Okay. So maybe, maybe needles are like the um, paper clips of like the Fallout universe. You just get tons of needles. So like trading one of them for dynamite, maybe it's so bad. What can I do for you? How's business? Oh, you know, every day I'm hustling. <laughs> uh, to tell you the truth, bro, it's pretty terrible. All my horses keep running away. Except for this completely ordinary one. Thank you, please. I'd go fetch them myself, except for this injury. I'll give you 300 meat each for finding them. Uh, here, let me take your map. They're pretty much always run away in the same places. Cover the new map location. Hey, the ore hole mine. I can get a shovel there. Um, the Boring Springs Boneyard. And the Thousand Snakes Gulch. They like environments that are thematically appropriate. When you find one, feed it some of these oats. Should send it back here. Got a bag of homing oats. Pigeon infused oat. Okay. Cool. Well, let's go trade. Let's go trade the needle for the dynamite. Raid, which is so not a name. Takes your needle and hands you a stick of dynamite. Be careful with this now. Alrighty. Cool. Well, let's go to the map. Um, Fricker Gang hideout is tempting. I think I want to go to the Orhole Mine, though, just so I can get that shovel. Behind the outhouse, okay. Look behind the outhouse. I got a shovel. Alright. Uh, there's still some meat ore in this cart. 65 meat. Wow, that's really good. Meat ore, though. That's, uh... Oh, hey, look at this. Dirty mug. Wonderful. That's gonna be worth something back in town. But seriously, uh, mining meat. Instructions for the cargo elevator. We have the blasting cap storage, the plungers, and tools. Let's leave it alone, because we don't know what we're doing here yet. Um, oh, is there something in this one, too? Unrefined meat nugget. What is that? A chunk of mostly worthless rock shot through with veins of gristle and flesh and veins. Hmm. Okay. We have some TNT. It looks dangerous. At least there's no plunger hooked up to it. Okay, so I need to go get a plunger, obviously. So... Let's go to the plungers, level two. Ooh. 
It's not a people elevator, it's a cargo elevator. Okay. Well, I mean, that's cool. Can I get one? Yeah. The sign lied, and there's only one kind. Ah, oh, lame. Detonation plunger. Okay. Can I maybe put the plunger to it? Fighting against your instincts for self-preservation, you've hooked up the plunger and strung a fair distance away. Press the plunger! Press the plunger and nothing happens. You forget to hook up the blasting cap. That's true. All right, let's go to blasting cap storage. Let's grab. Oh, what did it read? I didn't actually read it. Dang it, looks like you're going to need a crowbar to pry one of these crates open. Oh, bummer. I don't have one of those. Maybe uh, tools, level three. Um, it's a toolbox, but it's locked. Yeah, let's do it. I got a crowbar. We managed to unlock the toolbox. The needle is ruined in the process. Most of the tools inside are rusted away, but nothing. But there's a pretty nice crowbar. Cool. So that means we can go back to plunge, you know, uh, blasting caps. And then we can use the crowbar on the box to get that. And then we can blow up this joint. Okay. Let's add a blasting cap. You've succeeded in putting yourself in grave danger. Okay. So, let's press the plunger. Kaboom. Oh, hey, look, it's a horse. The horse shies away from you, though in this case, it's more like cripplingly introverted away from you. <laughs> okay. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. Look, I brought you some oats for you. They ain't poison or nothing. In retrospect, I guess that isn't a very comforting thing to say. Feed her the oats. You take a handful of the oats in the bag and hold it to, out to them, to the horse. Here you go, yum yum. She sidles away from you warily and makes a surprisingly good attempt at hiding in her own shadow. Pat her on the nose. The horse ducks and steps further back into the shadows. Eat the oats yourself. Look, they're fine, okay, see? You take a handful from the bag and toss them in your mouth. It's like the roughest, blandest breakfast cereal you've ever eaten. Still better than dry cat food. You smile to show the horse that you're fine and realize that you've unconsciously turned around and walked out the door. The horse looks at you warily as you re-enter the cheerful wave. See? Perfectly fine. Well, looks like I know. The horse haunches her shoulders and seems to shrink slightly as you pat her on the nose, but she doesn't actually flee, so that's something. The horse finally seems relaxed enough to around you, so you offer her a handful of the oats. Wearily, begrudgingly, she eats them. Then she gestures at something behind you. Turn around to look and don't see anything. When you turn back, she's gone. All right. Ooh. There's a hole. You bend down and shine your lantern into the crack in the rock. You can just barely make out the square shape down here. Uh, out of arm's reach. It looks like somebody dropped a small metal box into the hole. So you don't know if that was to hide it or discard it. If you're truly desperate to find out what's in there, yeah, you should try reasoning with a rock. Your primary argument with P-Tub would be a bundle of dynamite. Perhaps you could persuade the hole to widen enough to grab the box. Uh, well, I have one. It looks like I need three, so let's keep this in mind. Something buried here. Ooh, a silver nugget. What's that used for? It doesn't really say anything. Ooh, I would like the crowbar instead of the broken board. That's better quality. Um, anything else I can do with these? Looks like no. That's okay. All right. Oh, there is a uh, mine cart there. Sixty-five more meat. Wonderful. Okay, so I need more dynamite, and then I can come back here to explore. Okay, what next? I may as well keep on the, the theme of the horses. So let's go to Boring Springs Boneyard. Our founder. A really interesting guy. 
grab the uh, the mug. Benjamin Crockett. Um, Tory guard skeleton, skeleton. Dig up the grave. Um, okay, sure. Let's put up a uh, another barrier. Dean shield. All right, and then which one do we get more damage for? Five to six. Yeah, five to six. Nice. All right, let's do another attack. We got this. One more should do it. Victory. All right, and I got level up too. We leveled up Gumption to level two. Got an old, uh, old Calvary Saber, and we got a Gold Tooth. All right, eat. Uh, our crowbar is five to six. What about the saber? Five to six also. Um, I don't know. I mean, the crowbar is useful, so I think I'll keep the crowbar, I suppose. Oh, what about the gold tooth? This is in the ground for a very long time, then in somebody's mouth for a very short time, and now it's in your backpack. Um, hello, skeleton. Got the jump on him. Let's just go straight for attack. 10 damage. Oh, wow. That was easy. Hey, leveled up grit. Right? Oh, a horse. Your pulse quickens as you get near the spooky translucent horse. Um... You approach the weird, semi-transparent horse cautiously so as to not startle her, though you quickly come to the realization that this is not a horse that startles easily. Hello there. Hi. I'm a friend, okay? Hey. <laughs> That's a little strange. How did you do that without opening your mouth? I'm going to pat her on the nose. You pat the horse's nose, which is very cold. If you were going to ride her, you'd want an extra saddle blanket to keep your butt from freezing. Let's pat her on the nose again. Yep, still cold. Uh, let's go ahead and feed her the oats. Here you go, girl. Have some oats. You hold out a handful, but she sort of stares right through you. Please don't look at me like that. Pat her on the nose again. Huh. Yep, still cold. Burr. Get the idea. I love this stuff. They, they, they think of these little holes, these little, like, Cycles that you can get into and then play into. I, I love that. So good. Oops, lover. What's the matter? Are they not spooky enough? I'm not sure how to make oats spooky. I guess I could put some bone meal on them, but I don't have anything handy to grind bones with. Grave dirt? Weenie. Is that a yes? Weird. Okay. You sprinkle the oats with just a little bit of grave dirt and hold them out again. The horse gazes expressionally at them and eats them. All right. With that, she glides away in the direction of town. Cool. Devoted husband, beloved daughter, a baby. Right? Anything with the tree, maybe? No, nothing really to do here, which is a little weird. Just those couple of bites. Huh. Alright, well, let's go to Thousand Snakes Gulch. Oh, look, a snake. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. Oh, wait, what's that? One of these rocks is really shiny. Ooh, a shiny rock. It's, a sh it, it's shiny. It's about the size of a rock. Thank you. Uh, eek, pointy. Am I actually, like, hurting myself when I do that? Um... Maximum HP 30. Looks like no. It looks like I, I do not have like HP outside of combat. So I think it looks sleepy, but not that sleepy. Let's attack it. Yeah, let's go straight for the uh, the lava fava. All 
ice. You have slain a snake. Before long, we'll call you Snake Murder and Felix. Alright, I can uh, skin it, right? I hope. Oh, come on, maybe? Cause that, that was the whole thing, right? Like, I could trade uh, snake skins for, uh, for something. Alright, looks like it's going to take more than one attack this time. But that's not a big deal. Switch back to my... Crowbar. Yeah. Yeehaw! Gumption level 3. This snake looks really angry. You're going to need every trick in the book to beat this one. Yeah, I could do that. Let's do the Lava Fava. And then probably two attacks with the Crowbar should do it. Mm -hmm. Probably. Okay. Yeah, that's five left. This should do it. Nice. You forgot I get a weird walk? Yeah. I might turn it off eventually, but it's not so annoying yet. Nice work. The whole cowboy thing doesn't work out. You could always get a job as a snake exterminator. Uh, hello. This work, this horse has gone snake crazy. Or maybe he was some kind of crazy before. Hey there, fella. I'm a friend, okay? Uh, <laughs> that's, it's cool, right? Be cool. Don't freak out on me. Look him in the eyes. I don't know if that's a good idea. You call me look the horse in the eyes. One of them is fixed in his glassy thousand yard stare, and the other one is revolving madly in its socket like he's thinking of trying to escape in every direction simultaneously. He looks to be calming down a little now that it's clear you aren't actually made of spiders, though. Carefully and gently pat his nose. He twitches a bit. Okay, a lot. But seems to recognize that you aren't going to eat his eyes or suck his soul or whatever madness is bouncing around in that skull of his. That's a good boy. Take the oats. You feed the crazy horse some of the homing oats, then he gallops away with a whinny. Or rather, uh, whatever that is. <laughs> Hopefully he's headed home and not to the 12th dimension. Cool indeed. Um... But my question is still, like, supposed to be skinning snakes, right? Maybe I don't have the thing I need for that or something, but... I thought that was a thing. You don't have to walk all the way back over there. Hit M. Oh, well, thank you. Let's go to the Fricker Gang's hangout. Hideout. Thud Fricker, the Fricker Gang's intrepid lookout, appears to be taking a nap. Um... I mean, just shooting him doesn't sound all like, very nice. So let's just wake him up. You poke Thud with your boot. He slowly gets to his feet. Hey, you're not supposed to be here. Thud is, well, let's just say he's no Rhodes Scholar. If we assume that it's seven years from now, that idiom makes sense. You feel bad about the idea of killing him. Walk away, Thud. Thud, you don't want this life. Take a hike. Okay, you're probably right. He stumbles off into the desert. He'll probably be fine. Hey, I got a perk. Um, honorable options will be available in some situations. Oh, okay. That's cool. A beer barrel cactus. Pile of random stuff. Mug and a pair of silver couplings. All right, nothing to do with those, really. Okay, so it's just a cave, basically. We can do. Oh, someone's asleep. One of the freaking boys is dozing in a bathtub. Ugh. Hmm, I could tie him up, but I'm tempted to do number two. Pass the soap. Yeah, sure, why not? He mumbles and hands you a bar of soap before sinking deeper into the bath, both sleep and the tub. Hey, I got some soap, though. Nice. Cool. Oh man, I totally... I didn't even read it, but I just got it. Castile soap. Where this comes, they call it soap. 
Castile, and they they slur. They have the uh, yeah. Let's tie him up. Grab a nearby length of rope and carefully tie his hands together, and then handle to the tub. The sheriff can come collect him later. Okay. Nice. And what about these two? Can I do something with them? I wonder. Cautiously approach the Fricker gang. They're pretty engrossed in their poker game, so it doesn't actually require that much caution. You hide behind a barrel and eavesdrop on their conversation for a while. The one with the eye patch is quiet, but you gather his name is Snipe, and that the squirrely one is his brother Wimpy. It's your play here. Approach them and talk, or leave without alerting them. Well, I need to approach, I think. Howdy, boys. Deal me in. Who are you? How'd you get past Thud and Soapy? Oh boy. Uh, what do you want? You're under arrest. It's Bimmy. I don't know what it's Bimmy means. I'm here for the sheriff's store. Um. Yeah, I don't know what it's Bimmy means, so that's why I'm inclined to go with it. Let's check it out. I'm. It's Bimmy. It's me, Bimmy, your brother. Bimmy? You ain't Bimmy. I am too. Back me up here, Snipe. I am so Bimmy, I stole some Rube's face. Oh, was that the guy earlier that we saw? That was like face stealing or something. Uh, from the, uh, the Wanted poster. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna do that one. Context clues. You always did have a knack for face wrestling. What's new, Bimmy? We gotta get out of here and fast. The Pinkertons are onto us and they'll be here any minute. Dag nabbit. Come on, Snipe, let's hightail it. I'll catch up with you guys later tonight. Wimpy nods. He and Snipe hurriedly press, pack their belongings, and flee the cave. Congratulate yourself on your attentiveness, memory, and strong interpersonal skills. And XP, nice. All right. A uh, mug on the table. Yeah. Uh, Fricker's ill-gotten gains. Eat. Wonderful. The sheriff's door. Can I use the sheriff's door for anything else? Looks like no. That's okay. Um. Well, I was really hoping to find some dynamite, but I don't see it, so I guess that's it. I'll just leave. Alright, I don't actually have to, like, walk out. I can, uh, technically use the map, but I wanted to be sure that I got everything. Let's go to the town. Hello. You again. Alrighty. Let's go see the BS horsey. I don't know how you spotted her hiding in that mane, but thanks for sending my dark horse. Looks like my pale horse made it back safe. Thanks for your help. Thanks for finding my crazy horse. He was eating loco weed again, wasn't he? That's all of them. I can't thank you enough. Here's a little extra for you. Uh, what can I do for you? Well, hey, I can buy a horse now because I have. He just gave me a thousand meat. Said something early about an injury. Let's do that first, though. Yeah, I busted my knee while mucking in the showroom. Don't ask me how. It's embarrassing. I was gonna get Doc Alice to have a look at it, but she gave up doctoring. Nobody knows. She shut herself up in her office. Said she. Wouldn't talk to anyone except Nurse Whiskey. Oh, hey, I have Nurse Whiskey. That an actual nurse are? I'm pretty sure she's just being sarcastic. Okay, well, let's buy a horse. Uh, I should warn you, though, these horses get mighty attached to their riders, so once you bought one, you won't be able to change your mind later. Which one are you interested in? Basic model, the shifty-looking dark one, the spooky pale one, the crazy-eyes one, or let me think on that. Um. Oh yeah, man. I don't know. Uh, what do y'all think, chat? I have, I have the option of four horses I can pick from: the, the normal one, the dark one, the pale one, or the crazy one. Anyone have strong opinions about what kind of horse we should get? I don't know. Oh wait, I can shovel the poop. 
Yeah. Hey, welcome, Raiders. How are y'all doing tonight? Nini Arca, thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. Um. Oh, you're you're playing West of Loathing as well. Wonderful. This is my first time playing it. I'm just jumping in. Um, I'm Unreal Light Hawk, or you can just call me David if you prefer that. But uh. Yeah, I'm jumping in playing some West of Loathing for the first time. Welcome. I'm just about to kick off a, a poll to a great idea, by the way. Um, Red Fox. I'm going to pick a, a do a poll real quick to determine which horse I should pick. So there is the... Um, I can remember how to do this exactly. Um, poll. Question is... Which horse... And then I'm going to say the ordinary horse, the dark horse, the pill horse, or the crazy horse. Okay, with that, let's keep this open. You know, I'm going to do it 10 minutes. I, I think that I'm going to be walking back and forth and doing a couple other things. So let's start a 10 minute poll. Maybe that's going to be too much. I don't know. But I'm, I'm going to let that run. Y'all can vote, and I will kind of leave this area here and uh, go finish up a couple, a couple other things. We'll loop back and finish that in a minute. Lucian says, Googly Eyes Horse is my spirit animal. Nice. Uh, Mallow says, I like the ghost one. That's the one I always went with. If you go crazy, you might not end up where you want. Hmm. Hmm, that's interesting. I have no idea what implications each horse has for this either. Niniarka, welcome again. You've played it two sessions. Cool. Yeah. Uh, Mallow here says that she's played it a couple times and um, hasn't had a chance to uh, finish everything up completely, but that's cool. Let's shovel this poop. Get some more XP. Oh, we also need to go to the saloon to uh, go return those glasses. There's mug. Loose dirt. Yeah, let's dig it. Buried a mug. Okay, another one. Uh, I'm going to offer her some whiskey since she wants some nurse whiskey. Whiskey delivery for you, Doc. Nurse whiskey, your favorite, I'm led to believe. Didn't know she makes house calls. I'm all right. Hold on. Enter the house. Oh, wow. That's a lot of TNT. Um, Don't mind me. I'm just weird walking. Doc Alice looks to be about in her 50s. Her hair is graying and her face is lined, but her eyes are still clear and sharp. If bloodshot, she holds out her hand. Whiskey stat. Uh, I'm going to say not give it to her, just to, just to see what happens. She scowled at you. What the hell did you let you in here for, then? Um. Okay, fine. Let's just give her the whiskey, then. She craps open the whiskey and fills a small flask she takes out of her pocket. She then puts the flask back in her pocket and starts chugging out of the bottle. Who's the doctor here? Me or you? Okay. So, uh, is everything all right? That depends on how fast I can get this whiskey into my bloodstream compared to how fast my liver filters it out. And I can't talk and drink at the same time, so... So what's you, I mean, what's the matter, Doc? What's up, Doc? Ah, uh, I get it. The whole world's gone to hell in a horse cart. And you ask what's the matter? Bandits, cow demons, dead men walking? Why don't you go ahead and pick one and I'll drink to that. Men walking? You haven't seen it? Corpses and skeletons staggering around like puppets with half their strings cut. Looking to take a bite out of the living. Yeah, skeleton at the cemetery, you're right. It's nice to get some outside confirmation that I'm not losing my damn mind. How is that even possible? It is impossible. It goes against everything I know about medicine. Dead patients don't get back up. Every doctor loses one now and then. You never get used to it, but it happens. And while it doesn't happen, what doesn't happen is them coming back afterwards looking for revenge. Yep. You don't comprehend the situation. It's not just patients. It's neighbors, friends, husbands. Uh-oh. Um, indeed. She turns away from you and focuses their attention back on the bottle. Hmm.
Hey, thank you, Niniarka. Thanks again for the stream or for the stream for the uh, for the raid. And yeah, hope you have a great a great meal. Hey, I just met you. This is gravy, but here's my Twitch stream. So follow, maybe. Yeah, thanks everyone for uh, who are raiding along with Niniarka. I uh, appreciate that. If you haven't followed and you'd like to get more content like this, uh, check it out. Consider giving me a follow. And thank you. Thank you, Niniarka, too. I appreciate that. Thanks for the lurk. Hey, Doc, can I read your books? Sure, if you want to. They're going to do much good in this doomed forsaken hellhole. You should try being less cheerful, Doc. Okay. You survey the books on Alice's shelf. They're all medical textbooks, except for a few. Leaf through The Legend of Curly's Meat. Through The Life and Works of Fred Ferguson. Or The Goblinoid Tongues a Primer. Oh, you know what? I wonder if I would have been able to talk to the goblin. What, uh, what Nala was... Was, um hinting at earlier if i had been able to talk to the goblin yeah maybe maybe uh let's start with the first one because i don't know what the differences are the book tells the story of a legendary treasure a massive chest full of premium meats Se secreted and secrete got it in the hidden sense not in the extruded sense in the western desert by an old cowhand named butterfield okay the life and works of fred ferguson this book purports to be a Civil War surgeon's autobiography, but flipping through it, you mostly find lists of reasons that drinking alcohol is bad, though it actually work of ludicrous speculative fiction. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, at least there's some useful appendices in the back. Some diagrams of appendices. All right, experience. You start flipping through the Goblin book, and it's confusing at first, but eventually you get so engrossed by the time that you break from reading, several blurfs have passed. And you know that the blurf is the good goblin word for our. Okay. It's really too bad I didn't get that earlier. Ah, blue background. You got it, Dakota. One moment. Um, let me pull up that. Let's see what I can do. So I have two lights going on right now. Uh, one of them is already blue. But there's a very blue. No, no, they're both very blue. But what if I make one of them... Maybe the... I want a lighter blue. Eh, it didn't build that. Yeah, it's it's very blue. I like blue. Good call, Dakota. All right, now we got a very blue background. I think that might actually be the either the first or maybe the second time that someone has actually uh, given bits or Reese's pieces to. Uh, change my background so thank you vanity doesn't look like it's seen much use let's preen a little grab a pair of tweezers and pluck some of your more unsightly eyebrows okay um what else can we do in here uh yeah i've already done this um uh wow shouldn't this be further away from the fireplace yeah no kidding Oh, well, thank you, Mallow. I appreciate your compliment on my hat. Um, this was a... Um, this is a... A thingy. A... Um, redeem. Somebody redeemed. Um, maybe Honey earlier redeemed the, the hat exchange thing. So I grabbed another one that was on my, on my desk here. All right. Can I do anything else here? I mean, I, I think I've talked to the, doc the doctor. Oh, here we go. I can uh, talk about the... Uh, any idea about the resurrections? Heard a rumor. When you get incomplete information from an error verified source, thank you. Ah, <laughs> uh, that, that's like naked gun or like airplane level humor, and I, I love it so much. Anyway, what I heard is that there's a fella out west that's causing a necromancer, they call him. Supposedly he's sending magic out into the world somehow. Magic like the bean slingers use? Hey, that's me. Or like we bean slingers use. I never heard any bean slinger raising the dead, have you? That'd be one hell of a can of beans. So, uh, about that necromancer. He exists, what about him? Well, maybe someone ought to try and stop him. 
You? Because I know you're not talking about me. Why not you? Gray-haired woman that knows as much about fighting as a squirrel knows about surgery. Did you hit your head on a bar stool, kid? You're not that old. And if I was going to pick someone to go up against a necromancer, I'd be sure it's someone who knows about death in a scientific way. Doctor, right? Doc Isle stares hard at you, takes a swig from her bottle, says nothing. And it sounds to me like you got plenty of motivation to get the job done for your friends and everyone. She continues to look at you, see her gears turning in her head. It beats doing nothing anyway. Beats locking yourself in a house full of TNT and drinking yourself to death. You ain't even uh, even doing any doctrine anymore. She winces and looks away. Then she stare shakes her head slowly. You seriously expect me to ride out west by myself chasing a rumor? It doesn't have to be by yourself. I'm heading out west too. Tag along with me and maybe we can find a guy and find the guy and put a stop to him. Impossible like raising dead is impossible. Spark slowly brightens her eye. All right, kid. What the hell? Let's give it a shot. Cool. I think I have a partner. Let me know when you're ready to leave and I'll wait here. Wait, but I want to ask about the dynamite though. Is this, is this not a thing? Can I not like, I need some dynamite to get in the, um, into the thingy, into the, in the mine. No? Well, I guess I can't do anything else there. Can I trade anything now? Ooh, here we go. I'll trade the soap for a lock. Braid takes the soap and hands you a lock. Now, what can I do with the lock? Hmm. How about some free dynamite? Oh, I need Dickerin. I wonder how I get Dickerin. Hmm. And show me this lock. The padlock got its name because of the. It's like a wizard that protects your house. The padlock got its name because it's like a wizard that protects your house. I don't get it. I don't get it. Oh no, I missed the uh, the poll results. Um. Hmm. Warlock and a pad. Uh, okay. Okay. Thanks, Cater. Okay, so I need a, a crazy dark horse, is what you're saying, Mallow. Crazy dark. It's weird that uh, in OBS... Like, I can't find any way for me to actually, uh... I can't find any way for me to actually see, like, the poll at all. Just, like, stream chat. And I, I don't see it in my stream manager on my, my phone, either. I would expect that would be the sort of thing that you could, like, refer back to easily, but, uh... Maybe not. Maybe I have to have the actual, like, website open or something. I see the Fricker Gang hasn't put a stop to your breathing. Did you res rescue my cell door? <laughs> and the sheriff's door. Nice work, stranger. This here prison cell just got about four times more secure. Are there any Fricker boys left for me to round up? Yeah, one or two that are asleep on the job. I'll go round them up shortly then. Looks like you owe you a reward. Big bag of meat. 400, wow. I'll get another little task for you if you got the time. Should be a lot simpler than the last one. Well, the Frickers busted the lock when they, oh, when they took the door. Gonna need a new lock. Well, hey, I just happen to have one. You hand the Sheriff the lock. That'll do nicely. The Sheriff puts the lock on the cell door and then accidentally drops the key and it clatters into the cell. Oh, fire. Don't you know how to pick a lock, stranger. You got a needle handy? I'll see what I can do. Uh, pick the lock. You daft, deftly pick the lock. Okay. Is that it? I unlocked your cell for you. The sheriff walks into the cell and picks up the key. He looks around for a place to hide it and eventually sticks it under his hat. Thank you kindly, stranger. If Born Springs ever gets any more criminals, they'd better watch out. That's a good job you're you doing. You done. Mention it. Ooh. Here, have a souvenir of your time in Boring Springs. 
Replica Sheriff Badge. Or is it a Sheriff Badge? Yeah, Sheriff. Plus one armor. Nice. I wonder if the, the wanted posters change. Nope. Just nope. And nope. Wait, 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 wait. I saw something in there. I saw a dirty mug. Thank you, Mallow. I appreciate that. All right, let's go return this. Um, there's nothing else I can do down here, right? I, I done killed the uh, the goblin dude. Uh, woman glares at you. Are you Susie Cochran? How'd you know my last name? I saw the grave the cemetery. Sorry for your loss. I saw it happen. I saw the whole thing. I couldn't do nothing about it. Bartender said it was cows? Cows, right. I don't know what those things are, but they ain't cows. Not anymore. It was a raid, see? Ma and Pa used to ranch cattle back before, well, before they came home. Pa didn't make it, but Ma and I managed to rebuild. We ranched pigs instead, and she left me place, left me the place when she passed. Well, I guess passing herd sniffed out what used to be a cow ranch, and they attacked a couple of days ago. Happened so fast I didn't even have time to get my rifle out of the gun safe. Cows smashed through the front door, and fire started out back by the root cellar. House was, went up in blazes, just like that. There wasn't anything I could do. Couldn't get upstairs to the kids because of the fire. I saw Tim trampled right in front of me. He drinks her, drains her glass. I don't want to talk about it no more. She re refills her mug from the bottle at the bar and doesn't reply. What will you do now? Midwest, I suppose. Nothing keeping me here and no desire to stay. Can't leave without my rifle, though. Ma's rifle. It's all I got left of nobody. Left it at the ranch like a damn fool. Listen, can I ask you for a favor? I need someone to go get it for me. Yeah, sure. Discovered a new location. Maybe she'll have some dynamite there. Seems unlikely, but you never know. Uh, in that case, maybe I'll wait to give the, uh, the bottles back. Or the, the mugs, I mean, because maybe I'll uh, I'll get something out of them. Then um Yeah, let's 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 do that. Let's go to the Co Cochrane Ranch. Okay. All the water in this trough is boiled away. Susie's ranch house burned to the ground. Look, there's much I can interact with here. Can I open the door? Something behind the door is making some pretty awful noises. Oh, this is like the cellar or something, I suppose. Uh, looks like somebody was in the middle of fixing a knife. Varmint skin a knife. Ooh, I wanted this before I went hunting the snakes. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back there now. These pies were not safe. Uh, okay. This thing looks, looks angry. You're not going to make to that safe without dealing with it. All right, let's deal with it. It is a pyrobove. Py pyrobove? Oh, I have two action points now. Wonderful. Let's do a, uh, is the lava fob actually going to damage it since it's, uh, oh, it's hot resistance 50. No, probably not. And in that case, let's do a, uh, Let's do a shield to protect myself. Oh, I love the little bean floating around me. And then let's go ahead and do a, a melee. Yeah, I'm on fire now. Let's do it again. Oh, this is not so hard. Victory! Hey, my mysticality got leveled up. Cool. So there is a setting in the options to automatically spend XP. I'm going to turn that off for now because there's that... Uh, um, I want to ask the guy for some free dynamite. I don't know how to get access to that skill any other way. So... 
I think I want to... Um, I think I want to do this. I, I want to uh, you know, make sure that I, I can put it in that, and maybe that's the way I can do it. All right, gun safe. Cochran family gun safe. Susie's rifle. Okay, anything else? Like, no. Can I equip it? It's an old rifle, but it's obviously been well cared for. Six little notches carved into the stock. Looks like I can't. Okay. I want to look at the pie safe, but I guess I can't do that either. Okay, outhouse. Can't do anything with that, it seems. Ah, I wondered if that would happen. So I, I noticed every time I touched a cactus, I got a frowny face, then it got worse the more times I did it. So I wondered if I just kept touching them, if something would happen. So mostly scabs. Ooh, you've been poked by so many cactuses that your body has built up an entire set of extra skin capillaries just to deal with the constant tiny puncture wounds. Plus five maximum HP. That's, that's good. Don't mind that at all. All right, let's go back to the um, snakes. Hopefully it's not too late for me to... No, it is too late. No snakes here. Oh no. I hope this isn't the sort of game where it's like, if you miss out on the... Uh, if you miss out on something, it's like, it's just gone. Like, there, there's no way for me to do that anymore. Maybe. Could be. Each perk is found. Oh, okay. All right, well, hey, Susie. Here she is. Wells up with tears as you hand her the rifle, and she roughly scrubs her sleeve across the face before any of them spill over. Thanks, stranger. I didn't catch your name. I'm Felix. Can't rightly say what this means to me. She looks at the rifle for a long moment, then looks back up at you. Well, it's enough wallowing in my misery. Time for me to hit the road. If you want me to tag along with you when you head west, you just say the word. Cool. Uh, howdy. Good to see you again, Felix. I found these mugs. 150 meat. Okay. Cool. Um. Go back to the horse. Okay, so it was a tie between the dark horse and the um, crazy horse. Well, you know what? Let's go with the crazy horse. Uh, can you sell me a horse? One with the crazy eyes. Okay, gotta warn you, this horse has seen some, uh, some stuff. But I'll sell him for a thousand meat. Is there something wrong with him? Uh, not so much. He's perfectly functional. But... Well, he's always sneaking off to Thousand Snakes Gulch to chew on the loco weed that grows there. And that makes them see crazy things. I think it's more like he does it to forget about the crazy things he sees all the time anyway. Um, alright. Yeah, color me intrigued. I will take him. Here's the keys. What? <laughs> okay. Give him a name. Ooh, a name. Have I talked to Pete recently? I have not. No. Let's see. Him a name. Let's see. Let's pick. Um, let's go back to my my first raider today. Let's go back to uh, Lethal Juice Box. Let's call this Lethal Juice Box. Is the name of our crazy horse. Oh, I can't quite do it. This is a Lethal Juice. Lethal Juice is the name of our crazy horse. Are you sure you want to name your horse Lethal Juice? Yeah. Has a nice ring to it. I agree. I almost forgot. Free with every horse is the purchase of a complimentary map. South East West map. Okay. Uh, anything else? Guess not. Okay. Uh, let's go talk to, uh, to Sneaky Beat.
What do you say, Pete? For instance, dadgummit, there's a horn toad in my trousers. Uh-huh. He notices the shiny rock you're carrying and his wild eyes light up. That there is a right shiny rock you got, stranger. I'll even give you seven meat that for that rock. I would say no. No, I like this rock. I think I'll keep it. He notices the nugget of silver you found earlier. I'll take that old silver nugget off your hands. I'll give you 81 meat for it. No, I think I'll keep it too. Pete squints, points to the unrefined meat you're carrying. You ain't seem like someone who's much use for unrefined ore, stranger. I'll buy it off you for 73 meat. Alrighty then. Alright, so I suspect I can just go, like, sell all these to him. So I, I'm just going to do it. I, I wanted to wait and see if there was something I could actually do with it. You know, maybe there's, like, like an haggle or something. I don't think that's it. Um, pleasure doing business with you. Pete's eyes narrow as the gears in his head start to click. He fixes his gaze on you, and the tick in his eyelid seems more pronounced. Listen, kid, all the stuff that I've been buying from you... You've been spending time underground, ain't you? Well, you listen to old Pete's advice. You stay out of ore hole if you know what's best for you. There's stuff down there on the 40th level that ain't worth messing with for a fella that wants to keep his eyes, if you catch what I mean. Not sure I do. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's it. Can I wake up this dude? Like, no. Okay, well, still not sure what to do about the, um, I can't get the, the snake skin, and as far as I know, I can't do the, um, I don't have enough dynamite. I don't have dickerin. Uh, I already did this trade for soap. Fine silver pocket watch. So yeah, if I can get three rattlesnake hides, but it's too late for me to do that now because they're not available back there. So that's that's a bummer if I really missed out on that. But um, yeah, I mean that's it's the way it goes, I guess. And then um, yeah, I think I'm ready to go. I mean, I, I don't know if there's anything else I can do here. Um, there's stuff in the ore hole, but again, like I don't have any dynamite, so. I don't think there's anything else I can do there. So I think I'm just going to head out. Let's go to... Um... Let's go back to the town, I guess. And then once you leave Boring Springs, you won't be able to come back. Any unfinished business you've got will forever remain unfinished. Um, I don't know, man. I, I feel like I, I'm probably missing out on some stuff. Can I do anything with this guy at all? Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. I want to follow this guy and see see where he goes. Oh, once... Oh, no. One second thought. I wonder where he's going to go. I guess it would be the bar, but maybe he just walks all the way through town. I'm beginning to think he just walks all the way through town. But you know what? It's worth a try. Hmm. New in my inventory. This one. Ah, see, I can follow the the map. Let's let's try that next after we uh see if this guy does anything. Close to Peekum is probably where I came from. You're not allowed into Peek anymore. Remember? All right, let's go to the southeast west. Once you leave, oh, okay, yeah, I'm fine. Alrighty then, you're properly horsed and ready to start a new life in the west. All you need is a new partner, somebody to share the trail with, somebody you can rely on for emotional and combat support. Who will you take with you? 
Crazy Pete, Doc Alice, Susie Cochran. Um, I mean, my, my first inclination is to go with Doc Alice. Like, I, I like to have a healer in the party, if you know what I mean. Um, however, since I have the crazy horse, I kind of feel like I should go with Crazy Pete. Stay on theme. Maybe. Maybe. I have no idea what Crazy Pete, uh, what, what he does. What abilities are. Clearly, Susie is a gun expert. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. On, th on second thought, I don't want to leave yet. One, one thing. I want to go back real quick. Even though I was just there, I didn't see any other opportunities to get dynamite. And so I think I must have missed something. Must have missed something. Something down here. Examine the hole again. Yeah, see, oh, right. I have to convince the, the dude to give me more dynamite for free. And that's how it works. Yeah, so I'm, I'm not going to get to do that. I don't have that ability. Oh, well. Okay. That's fine. Let's get out of here. Hello, Rubber Road. How are you? It's been a while. Welcome to the stream tonight. Um, so I can take Crazy Pete with me. I can take Doc Alice or Cochran. You know what? I'm going to take Crazy Pete. Again, we're going to stay on theme. We have the Crazy Horse. We're going to go with Crazy Pete. Hop back to the saloon and click Crazy Pete. Hit the trail. You can sell the Southwest, we Southeast West map and take the hostel and hostler gave you it's only two things the town of dirtwater and the manifest destiny railroad company's westernmost camp Discover a new location all right rubber road is doing decent playing some stone block two. Oh, you know i have not played stone block two i don't believe i don't believe i think i did the first one oh hey sneaky pete oh there's so many people here oh man um, hey, let's talk. What's shaking, Pete? Well, now, if and you're interested in mining and such, I happen to know a little mine not too far from here. The good one? Ain't never been. We'll have to explore to find out. All right, snake pit. Ooh, snake. Uh, what do you think we should do next? Well, now, if you're in a hurry to push west, I'd say train will get us there. Might faster and horseback. Get a railroad camp and mark it on your papers. Uh, uh, you got a railroad camp marked on that map of yours, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, hat is too small, but at least it ain't heavy. Okay. The water is for horses only. What? Um. What is up with this? There's a weird ghostly carriage here. Um. Yeah, okay. Let's get in. You hop in the ghostly carriage, which seems to support you and your Pete's weight well enough. An invisible driver yells, Yeah! And cracks an invisible whip, and an invisible horse snorts. The carriage starts moving, and soon you're out of sight in dirt water. I mean, hopefully this is a good thing. Uh... Reckoning at Gun Manor. Okay. Side quest. Thick gray fog envelopes, envelops the carriage, and you lose all sense of time and space. Eventually, a fog the fog clears, and the carriage parks near a very large and ornate mansion. Disembodied voice calls. All out for Gun Manor, last stop. Okay. So, uh, hey, partner. Hooey! That's one heck of a house. I reckon you could buy the Jewel Saloon for just what they spent on shingles. You could probably build the Jewel out of that many shingles. What do you think we should do next? Yeah, sure. Wait, was that it? Um, yeah, that's it, okay. What else can I do here? Can I like... Oh, who are you? You look super futuristic. 
think he's carrying some weird equipment. Oh, DLC. Okay. Okay. Bunch of puzzles. Okay, well, if this is the DLC, then maybe I'll take a step back, if, if it'll let me. Go back to town and uh, maybe not not explore this just yet. Oh, thank you, Nightbot. Yes, if you have Amazon Prime, please do consider giving it to someone because uh, you can get a free um, sub to someone's uh, channel. I would highly recommend going and checking out either uh, Talk, our good friend, Talk Arts, Tax Art Creates, does some really wonderful art. Um, or you could go and do a, um, a sub to one of our other friends here. So, like, you know, good friend here, Malobite, uh, is someone else that you could go and give a sub to. Doesn't cost you anything, since, you know, if you have Amazon Prime already, you just get it for free. There's no no extra charge to you. You get it every month, and it does expire. It doesn't auto-renew. So, go ahead and go. Give that to someone that can use it. And uh, thanks in advance. All right, uh, let's talk to this lady real quick and then we'll go and uh, go back. Excuse me, do you work here? Uh, who me, no? Nuts, I can't find any employees in the gift shop either. I haven't even started this job yet and already it's a pain in my neck. Uh, I can't get inside. Mrs. Gunn hired me to come out here and deal with a bunch of spooks that are haunting up the place. I can't do that if I can't even get in the front door though. Uh, who's Mrs. Gunn? Harry Gunn. Pretty famous inventor. You got her best known invention hanging right there on your belt. Belt buckles. Gun. Uh, spooks like ghosts. Exactly like that. 13 of them according... Oh, 13 ghosts. According to my instruments. Lawrence Cunningham, Cunningham Ghost Annihilation Service. That's me. Interesting. What do you annihilate them with? Science! I was going to get the weird kind of rifle like contraption you're carrying. Yeah, it shoots. Science! What's wrong with the front door? Front door? Well, it's, uh, locked? No, not locked. Okay, see, I'm a ghost hunter. I ain't spider hunter. I don't hunt spiders at all. There's a huge, gross, hairy, fanged, drooling giant spider in the foyer. So until I either find another way in, or find someone else to take care of that spider hunting, in, uh, hunting side of this biz, I'm staying right here. Okay. Alright. I can see you feel pretty strongly about this. Hey, that'd be swell. You know, you look reasonably tough and are highly. Why don't we team up? I'll handle the ghosts. You can handle the things that aren't ghosts. Uh, yeah, hang on a minute. I'll be right back. Again, I have the uh, weird walking option on. So, ooh, Gun Manor Visitor Center. Uh, yeah, no, I'm going to save all this for later. Let's go back to dirt water. Okay, um... Can I walk up these stairs, I wonder? Like, no. Um, lethal juice whinnies as you approach. Yeah, let's comb his mane. Sort of makes a glurk noise. Oh, okay. Oh, right. My biscuits are burning. Oh, okay. Ooh, a spittoon! I have great, great experience with spittoons. This is a platoon. Uh, yeah, no, I, I've been through all that before. I say this despite knowing that you're pretty into... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, let's start over. This is a platoon, which is sort of a brass bucket that people spit into instead of spitting on the floor. Because not spitting at all is not an option in the society, I guess. I say this despite knowing that you're pretty intimate, intimately familiar with platoons already. Inspect it. Look, the jewel saloon is pretty nice as saloon goes. Actual glass in the windows, more than two kinds of drinks, a poker room instead of a cockfighting pit. So this spittoon is still a spittoon. The rancid tobacco spit inside it ain't fancy rancid tobacco spit. Here we go again. All right, fine. You are now hunkered down next to the brass filth bucket, which has probably never been cleaned or emptied because you're near the desert and the ambient humidity around here is pretty low. Low enough that the spit evaporates nearly as quickly as it accumulates. That's good, right? No, that's bad, because it's only the water part of spit that evaporates. The brass bucket is full of, or half full, of the rest of the, the toxins and the filth that don't evaporate. Several years worth, distilled and concentrated until it is the consistency of molasses. People aren't allowed to flick cigarette butts into spittoon anymore because they bounce out. Um, okay, let's search it. 
You're about to put your hand in the bucket of something the color of and viscosity of maple syrup, except instead of maple, it's flavored with the inside of mouths of people who chew cigars instead of smoking them and have never brushed their teeth. Uh, yeah. Blorp. Feels like putting your hand into a bucket of lukewarm tapioca pudding. Except instead of tapioca, it's actually poison. It smells like someone ran over a skunk, waited a week, and then set it on fire. Feels like your hand is dissolving. Keep searching. You found something. You found a tacky, filth-covered porcelain cow figurine. A useless, disgusting thing that will make a great heirloom for your children, assuming you're still able to have any and you hate them. You got a filthy porcelain cow. Um, that That is actually pretty good. It goes into my offhand. It gives me extra spell damage and melee attack damage. Uh, you have to hold this little porcelain cow upside down because it's filled with tobacco spit and you don't want to spill it out the little hole in the bottom of it. Ew. Uh, yeah, let's let's equip that. Obviously. So, plus three melee attack and plus three spell damage versus the can of beans, which is one spell damage, but then also muscle and moxie. Pretty good. I feel like this is probably still better, but I don't actually know. If nothing else, the sell value, 30 value for this, or 30 meat for this one versus 50 for the filthy porcelain cows. That's probably better. Got a poker room. Rules of poker, followed by hundreds of weird rules in tiny print. Great beats a roll, Nevada flush. A one-handed jack is equivalent to four sixes. Any player who draws two eights of hearts must immediately double their bet. Oh, wow. They're my kind of rules. Table is full. No room at this table. All right, there's an empty seat at this table. Let's play poker. You sit down at the poker table. Dealer emerges from somewhere in the back and sits down next to you. The lady on your right introduces herself as Connie, and the player to the left says his name is Wyatt. The dealer tells you the ante is 20 meats. Um, you know what? I feel like I probably don't have the perks that I need to, to do that properly. Let's wait a moment. The piano player is not very good at his job. Eh, it's not that so bad. Uh, the man points to a sign at the counter. Slop. Five meat. Uh, sure, I'll buy some slop. It is. Increases your maximum HP by five for the rest of the day. Oh, interesting. Okay. What about these guys? These guys are having a spirited discussion about guns. Which which of theirs is nicer? Okay. Ooh. Dart. The bartender for darts. Hey, how come they're allowed to drink without, without hats on? Hey, that's true. These two don't have hats on. Good point. What stage? Let's hit the cowbell. Nothing seems to be happening when I hit the cowbell. No way. Well, whatever. Can I get on the stage, though? And no. Oh, this chair fell over. Yeah, let's pick it up. 1 XP! Hmm. Okay. Let's go to the kitchen. Hey, what are you doing here? Exploys only, bud. Sorry, I was just, you know, looking around. So you're the nosy type, eh? I prefer adventuresome. As it happens, there is something you can do for me. I'm out of salt, Peter. I need someone to go pick some up for more. Salt, Peter? Isn't that used to make gunpowder and other things? Look, who's the chef here, me or you? Uh, it's at the military camp because it's used to make gunpowder. Shut up. The nearest one is Port Cowardice. They keep it in little green jars. All right. Good to know. Full of canned and bottled ingredients and boxes of slop helper. Uh, have you found the saltpeter yet? Nope. Um, prep ingredients for cooking. Also, where he parks his beer. Anything on the stove? Atop this pot belly stove is a pot full of slop. Pot stove pot. A pot stove top slop pot. Yes. 
a, a pot a pot stove top pot a pot stove top slop pot this lady is too busy washing dishes to pay attention to okay well then I guess I'll head on out um oh hey though that gal doesn't look like she's in the mood to talk they're engrossed in conversation they even be these guys must have fallen asleep during the brawl. Okay. Oh, hey, partner. The good old Jewel Saloon. Nice to see the old place ain't changed much. Been here before? Oh, sure, I've been in all these territories. I spent a little time up in North Can Canada when I was younger. They got a thing they do with gravy and potatoes. It's just fascinating. Nice. All right. Oh, hey, bartender. Yeah, this piano player is not the best. Um, glad to know you, Felix. Folks around here, just call me Lloyd. What can I do for you? Poutine! Um, I saw I found up front advertising a room. Uh, I need some help with anything. I'll have a shot of bourbon. Who's the old man by the piano? Yeah, okay, let's, let's just go through the list. That's right, finest room in the house, and plenty of room for your partner, too. You interested? The cost. Well, that's where you're in luck. The previous tenant was a banker fella, and he paid a month in advance right before getting himself killed by bandits. You seem to be a decent sort, so the room's yours if you want it. Gratis. Wow. That's nice. Gave me a room. Um, need help with anything? Well, if you're handy with mechanical stuff, something's gone wrong with our piano player. Well, yeah, no kidding. Yeah, it's not supposed to sound like that. Uh, I'd have poked him, poked around in him myself, but I lost the key. Oh. Interesting. Hey, Lloyd. Um, sure, I'll grab a shot of bourbon. Dirt water bourbon. Increase your maximum HP? Okay. Anything else? Um, who's that old man by the piano? Old Elsbury. Tragic fella. He was a writer and a poet and came out west to sell his stories, but nobody were buying. Too weird his stories. Fantastical like. Stupid stuff for kids. Too bad. I love that stuff. Well, it don't matter much now, anyhow. He had to get normal work to make ends meet. Did passing well as a prospector until one day he lost his mind in a mind. You know what I mean? He saw something. Something that made him stop telling his weird tales. Made him stop talking near completely come to that. He just stands there by the piano nowadays. It seems to calm him down. And as long as he doesn't make any trouble, I don't mind him too much. I feel a little sorry for him, to be honest. Uh, can I get some darts? Hmm? Found on the dartboard said to ask you for darts. Oh, sorry. All the darts got broken months ago. Bummer. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go um, talk to the dude. Oh, yeah, I can't talk to him. Piano player is not very good. Try to fix him. Lift up the piano player's player's coat to reveal a hatch on his back and leads to his inner. It's locked. Not a very good lock. I don't have any needles. All right, well, let's check that out later. All right, let's go upstairs, I suppose. To our guest room. Insult yourself. You gain an effect angry. You're madder in a hornet. And if anger level gets higher than one, you'll pass out from rage. Plus three muscle. Wow. Oh, that's a, probably a temporary thing. I bet. Insult yourself again. You better not insult yourself anymore. If you get any angrier, you're liable to pass out. Interesting. That's Pete's bed. Can I talk to Pete? Is there something to do? Um, yeah, okay. What else is there to do here? Window. There's a postcard on the little table. A blank postcard. There's a blank postcard. Maybe you should write to your family back home. Oh, yeah. In case you don't know how the mail works, you send these by going to a building called a post office and giving it to the correspondence wizard who works there. Okay. That's a great idea. I could sleep. You dream that you're shopping for belts with Pete while fleeing from a tree. After that, you get married to a tree. You wake up screaming. Right. 
refreshed and restored and hungry and sober. Day two. Second day of the rest of your life. Okay, I'm not angry anymore, so let's insult myself. Alright, let's, uh, let's get out of here, I guess. Dirtwater Mercantile. Dirtwater Post Office. Dirt Adder Post of Ice. Okay. Uh, hello. This little girl is selling flowers. Yeah, let's buy some. Sweet smelling flowers. Oh. It is. See you, Red Fox. Thanks so much for dropping by. I uh, appreciate you dropping in. Hope you sleep well tonight. Happy Monday tomorrow. Am I off? 15% stench resistant. Oh, I don't really need that. I didn't know it's there. I'm gonna send this postcard. Telegraph machine. Post office boxes. Nothing really to do with that. Anything else I can do here besides talk to this dude? Any mail for me? Mm, nope. Well, I'd like to send a postcard. Alrighty, let's have it. You write a quick note to Rufus, letting him know that you've been up to, and that you're okay. That'll be, uh, oh, it's one of them prepaid ones. That'll be zero meat, then. Nice. That's cool. Um, hey, is there anything mail for me? Worth a try. There's a jail. There's a, uh, lot available. That's interesting. And another lot available. Who are you? Alright, another lot available. And another one. And another one. And another one. Um, uh, not a lot available past this point. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank you for that humor. Let's go to the jail. Are you the sheriff? Uh, offer to be the sheriff? I can be the sheriff. You have law enforcement experience? Well, I did take out the, the gang back there. Have you been to sheriff school? Do you have an existing relationship with Dirtwater local government? Are you familiar with all the local ordinances? Do you even live here? Uh, no. Then what my ask is tarnation makes you think you'd be qualified as the sheriff. Well, I do have this badge. Like, plastic sheriff badge. Sheriff badge. You just assume that you could mosey into town to become a sheriff on your first day? Well, when you put it that way. Second day, technically. I had five meat for every wide-eyed protagonist look kid looking to wander in here and thinking they're an important tenderfoot to ever strap on iron. I would need this dead-end clerking job. Okay, like I said, it happens all the time. Sure, if you're any good with a gun, there's always somebody in t some need of a justice. Wanted posters are back there. Cells are over yonder. Alrighty. It's a wanted poster. No, wait. You misread it. It's a wasted poster? Poster reads, Wasted. Stripply. Strippy hat gang. Stripey hat gang. For grand theft paint and tasteless hat um, vandalism. Last seen in the vicinity of Cavern Canyon. 1,000 meat reward. Wow. Okay. Dirty rotten paint thieves and low down no fashion sense hat vandals. Despicable. Want to go after them? Well, yeah. Okay. This is a wanted poster, or a wanted poster. Accuracy is different. The House in the Desert Gang. For mortgage non-payment, squatting, and general public nuisance. Also for murdering two collection agents. Last seen at the House in the Desert. Here. I wonder if the house is named after them, or if they're named after the house. In any case... At least their location is unambiguous. Yeah, let's go after them too. Alright. Here's a cell. And there's a cell. Here's a cell. And there's a cell. And a ghostly cell. That's kind of curious. Let's do cartwheel. Whole way there. Oops, I meant to go talk to the dude again. Or do that. Want to say hi? All right. Well, I guess it's it then. 
Um, dirt water mercantile then. Wow, there's so many things. Hmm, advanced bean craft. Ooh, I would like to get better at my uh, my magic. Disposable binoculars. A new map location if you can find a high vantage point. Ooh, again, big fan of that. Plum pudding for the rest of the day. I already have the shovel. That's good. Soda crackers for the rest of the day, for the rest of the day. Again, a blood sausage for the rest of the day. Cool. Well, let's buy the bean craft book and the disposable binoculars because those are both things I could use right away. And the rest, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I guess I'll buy more dynamite just in case I need it for uh, something else. Oh, wait, I only got one for that. Mm -hmm. You know what? Before I do that, I'm going to buy like one more of each of these things. Just because maybe it'll come in handy. Or something later. Maybe I'll have like a, a, a quest or something to to use. Okay, let's go ahead and read the Advanced Bean Craft, Volume Twelve. There's a recipe for a wall-shaped pile of beans that looks pretty interesting. It gives Bean Wall a spell that will create a wall of beans that provides a cover from ranged attacks. It includes a chapter about making human-sized or larger automatons. Automatons, automatons, and binding them to your will with the help of kitchen tasks gives Bean Golem combat skill, which summons a call for Golem to fight for you. The list of med meditation techniques to help you concentrate while look cooking and or fighting gives use of the old bean skill to temporarily increase your mysticality during a fight. Um, well, I already have a defensive skill, so I think I'm going to go with the Bean Golem. You practice making servants out of beans until you're pretty good at it. I can now summon a powerful golem made of beans who will probably do your bidding. Unfortunately, one of your early experience got a bit rowdy and eats the books. Uh-oh. So yeah, I was afraid that I would not be able to learn the other two, but that's okay. Um, can of oil. That wasn't there before. Yeah, I'm going to buy you because that's... That's it. Uh, I don't need the broken board anymore, though. I'm not going to bother selling anything of my inventory until it becomes clear that I can't carry anything more or um, I need the meat for something. The Jewel Saloon. Yeah, okay. So it seems like I'm kind of like back to uh, where I was. Lethal Juice Winnie's as you approach this comb with Main again. Lurk noise. Okay, let's saddle up. There is the Snake Pit Mine, the Cavern Canyon, Railroad Camp, Fort Cowardice, and Dirtwater, where we are right now. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's see. I think... That I will go do the closest one. The desert house. And then I might call it a night after that. You find a crate laying by the side of the trail. It's lid knocked loose. It has fell off the back of a cart LTD. It's still on the side. Which seems a bit on the nose. But hey, free stuff is free stuff. Got a handful of nails and a full canteen. Well, it puts out fires. Cool. Um... Cool. As you dismount and approach the house where the bandits are holed up, you hear a voice from inside say, What was that? Looks like you're going to have to be sneaky if you want to avoid full-on Raka. Sneaky is my middle name. Wait, really? Yes, Freaky is my middle name. Okay, if you say so. Alright, good night, Mallow. Thank you for your support tonight. Thank you for uh, your advice and just being here, hanging out. I appreciate it. Sleep well. Have a great day tomorrow. Happy Monday.
All right, so we're here. Oh, I'm sneaking. I take out this thing. The sound of it, you'd say this doghouse contains an angry dog. This doghouse contains an angry... What? Wait, what? From the sound of it, you'd say this doghouse contains an angry dog. Yep, I gotta say it. Very funny. You're not gonna be able to get past without alerting the gang inside the house. Um... Okay. I probably can't walk in front of it, right? No. I mean, I guess I might as well go for it. Yeah, bring them on. <laughs> Rufus Rough House. The Coffee House. The Art House. So they are all... Let's see, so two of them are 23 HP. This one's 19. So I'm inclined to go after that one. If I can, of course. Let's summon a bean golem. Nice. All right, now what do I got? Four to five or 10 to 11. Wow, okay, yeah, let's do that. Attack! Nice. Lantern bash. People hit the target with the lantern dealing seven hot damage or pep talk. We'll give you or whomever pep talk raising all stats by two. Um, I mean, it's two heads on eight, right? Because that would be enough to kill it. So maybe what I'll do instead is give the bean a pep talk. Just to see what, what comes of that. You'll never take us alive. Oh no, Pete. Oh wow, 13 damage. Nice. Well, let's take him out first. Maybe the bean will take out him, or maybe uh, maybe I can do that with Sneaky Pete. Oh, not quite. No, not Pete! Nice. That bean golem is pretty strong. Cool, cool, cool. Dead. Victory! 30 XP. A bag of ears and such. What? You don't feel like carrying the entire house in the desert gang back to town, so you just took a few bits. Ew. Gross. Desert gang's six gun. Alright. Might even be so far as to rate it a seven gun. Uh, it got a black hat. Don't be afraid of this hat. It's not inherently bad. It's just a common style choice for bad guys. Plus one armor. Okay. Well, I think I like my current hat. I mean, I don't remember to get out of it, though. One mysticality versus one armor. I think the mysticality is probably better for me at the moment. Um, deputy pistol is four to five. This one's six to seven. Plus one moxie. Yeah. Super. Bag of ears and stuff. Yeah, okay. Um, no dog anymore. Can I not go in the house? Uh. Brave? Stuck to his guns. Okay. Oh. Well, I mean, I guess that's it. That was quick. Much quicker than I expected. Let's go. Gee, okay. This is, uh, it's going to take some time to get up there, actually. Yeah, well, since that was so quick, maybe I'll go do the, uh, the snake pit mine. Maybe that'll be quick, too. As you're riding toward your destination, you pass by a building in which a barn dance is happening. I guess it makes it, I guess that makes it a barn. The people inside seem to be having a great time. Yeah, let's join in. 10 XP, you mosey in and have a grand old time at the barn dance. You even learn a few moves. Most of the moves involves pretend to reel somebody in from across the dance floor with a lasso, but still, they're getting moves. All right, what are we doing here? Exposed meat vein. Ooh. Mining equipment. 
Ask Pete to explain it to you. Hey Pete, you know if any of this stuff still works? I reckon I do, but I ain't gonna tell you. Don't want you getting any ideas, you see. Yeah, right. Hey Pete, what? I just want to tell you about some of this mining stuff. Um, okay. This first machine here, it's an automatic rubble fracture. Move on to the next machine. And this thing here, it's used to extract mixed meat and then powder it. Keep going. And the third machine is a retrograde pyrite by and it converts um sulfur into dry shale a mind splainer are you finished Ooh, what is that um where'd it go actually oh that was a uh, a perk wasn't it it wasn't a a thingy right here you're a real expert. You'll gain XP when you interact with mining stuff. Oh, really? So, like this mining stuff? Oh. Coffee cactus. Pile of loose boards. Oh, look. You can see a snake coiled up in the little hole. Let's pull it out and punch it. Yeah. Of course. Come on, Bean Man. Yeah. I got a trusty knife and a coal snake skin. Put it on your hat to add plus three moxie. What? I mean, yeah. Apply to hat. Is it permanent? Because I already get uh, one mysticality. Let's do that. You put the coal snake skin on your hat, making it slightly blacker than it was before, at least the area right above the brim. Yeah. Wow, nice. Okay. Hey. Rubble. So I get 60 me and 5 XP because I have the mansplaining bonus. Mindsplaining bonus. Um there's a wait what? A smoking snake? Okay. Fire breathing coal snake. Interesting. Attack! Oh, wait, I get more for the gun now. Yeah, let's, let's do it then. Ouch. Good job, Bean Golem. You really smoked that snake. I mean, you didn't smoke it like you'd smoke Cheroot, but you smoked it figuratively. 10 XP, 29 meat. You skin it. Oh, and I got another coal snake skin. Okay. Oh, wait, a coal one. Oh, I probably should have waited. I realized that. Put on your hat to get plus three moxie. Oh, no, I already have plus three moxie. I don't suppose I could apply it to both of them, could I? It's already got a hat band on it. You wouldn't want to be the person who shows up at the party wearing multiple hat bands, would you? Suppose not. Got a thermos of spiked coffee and a sulfur match. Um, yeah, let's pick that out first. I kind of wish it was, uh, it told me new items here in my stuff, too, to make it easy. Um, cool until the end of the day. Deals one hot damage. To it ignites flammable things. Interesting, okay. A den is full of snake eggs. Hmm. I think I want to um, take these out as quickly as possible. I suspect that's yeah, a good idea. Oh, I should have shot the other one. That was a mistake. Oh, well. 
It'll be okay. <laughs> All right, so yeah, it doesn't matter. I'll shoot you and then Pete can take out the other one. Then that just leaves the one. Ooh. Not enough skin on any of them to be worth collecting. Yeah, they're babies. Makes sense. Ooh. Somebody left her pick here. Pick it up. A pickaxe. Uh, it is five to seven. Um. So I mean, it's it's basically slightly better than the crowbar. So I, I may as well replace the crowbar with it. But I'm gonna want to keep both of them. I think. I'll still want to be able to use the crowbar later if I need it. Ooh, exposed meat meat vein. I got 32 meats. Uh, oh, plus with meat with uh, with uh, Pete here, I get some extra meat and some uh, XP. That worked out well. But why am I actually here? What was the deal with? Uh, why did I come to this area? Actually, remember. I feel like there's something right there at the door. You know. Well, let's go back and do this other meat vein out here. Find it. 34 meat. Very nice. And an unrefined meat nugget. Can I sell it to him now? Probably not. Probably the uh, mercantile dude. Well, this here seems like a fine little mine. Not too deep, not too cramped. Shame it's run dry. You can tell it's run just by looking at it. Oh, I got plenty of experience in these matters. I see. Let's go. All right. So before we let's go, let's actually just call it off here. Um, it is not too late for me, but I got to get up early and I haven't been sleeping super well. Um, so I'm going to get to bed, I think. And uh, let's see who we can raid into before we get too far. So let's check out the Twitch. Who is currently Bell's off doing some uh, some crafting stuff. That's the orders, looks like. Maul is doing some Sea of Thieves. Hmm. And then we also have, of course, our good old Anchor Team friends. What they are up to tonight. Club. See, we have Mark. Doing Grand Theft Auto and myself. Wow, so there's only the two of us on on stream right now. That's unusual. Usually a lot more people not going. Um well let's see. Um who people who have I not raided into a long time? I think I did um I think I raided into Bell somewhat recently. I really like like Bell, but I think I might choose someone I haven't wrote, uh, uh, rated into in a while. So let me see who else is playing. Well, there's our there's our friend Totes my goat. Totes my goat streaming, and she's doing some uh, Animal Crossing. I mean, I've been, I don't know if I've ever actually, uh, I don't I think I've, I've, uh, raided into totes or so well, let's do that. Let's do a raid into totes my goat. Let me make sure I spell it right too. Oh, E E S M B O. That is her face. Yes, good. All right. Well, thanks everyone. I appreciate everyone who was here tonight, who was hanging out with me and uh, playing a little bit of West of Loathing. It was a lot of fun. I certainly had a lot of fun. I hope you had a lot of fun too. Um, like I said last time I streamed a week ago, I'd love to start doing this about once a week, just like get back into some sort of a routine. 
fun days seem to be working pretty well. Um, it's pretty available for me, and it seems like it's not overly crowded with a bunch of friends streaming. So that might be a good good time for me. But, but thanks everyone again. I appreciate it. Um, thank you, Luth Lethal Juice Box, for the raid earlier. Um, thank you also for. Hey, my thingy is not showing up correctly. Nini Arca. Thank you, Nini Arca, for the raid as well. Um, but yeah, thanks everyone. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Hope to see you again uh, this time next week, if not sooner. But yeah, I'll talk to you later. Oh, oh, oh real quick before I go, um, let me throw my little raid message into the chat. Feel free to grab that. Pass it along. Good night, Cater. Thanks for joining the stream tonight. Yeah, show some love to Goat My Goat.